I will be using about two cups. Actually, I have a little bit, so I might as well just do it. It's almost three cups. Now I'm gonna be mixing a couple of different types of nuts. I have walnuts, cashews, and pine nuts, and I'm just gonna put them in a little food processor to grind them all up. And this is what you'll get. It's up to you how big or small you wanna make it. It is perfect. I don't mind big chunks, so. So it doesn't matter. Now we're gonna go ahead and add the nuts to the granola and mix it. Once you mix it a little bit, go ahead and add a little bit of sea salt. Now I'm gonna add the maple syrup. It is a knockoff brand, but whatever. It still works. I'll make sure to put down below the exact measurements of this. Right now I'm just eyeballing it. I'm gonna start to slowly mix it in. Cause you don't want just one big clump of, you know, sweetness all up in here. You're gonna set your oven to 325 degrees. Once you place the parchment paper there, go ahead and spread the granola all over it. Now just simply go ahead and put it in the oven. So after 10 minutes, go ahead and stir it. And go ahead and leave it for another 10 minutes. And so now I'm gonna take it out. Well, I should turn it off first. As you can see, it's kind of a little toasty. It's a little roasted. Well, I like it that way. So now I'm just gonna let it cool down and then I'll show you how I start. I'm gonna go ahead and mix in some dried cranberries. The best way to store the granola is in mason jars. Now you just gotta make sure to close it really tight. And that is all. I swear to God, this is like the best granola you're ever gonna taste. I usually don't add cranberries. Start without that and then add blueberries, which is just so, so good. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you tried this recipe. Let me know how it goes. I swear you will not regret it. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye.